So uh, I'm just going to quickly explain what sort of thing I'm doing here. I'm having to um, edit this uh, kind of fractal tree geometry that I've made because I was struggling to create the dome on Rhino. Um, I've taken it back into Maya and I've done this soft select uh, selection tool like I did before with the 3D printing. Uh, but instead I'm just doing it so that I can alter the model um, here instead before the interpolation that's like the uh, this type of line before I had it on spline so it was kind of more curved the overall form um, these these lines here these joints would have been curved whereas in uh, my actual if this was to be made a physical model these would just be straight pieces of timber they wouldn't be steam bent or anything so uh, so yeah that's not it would be a good reference that I could have used for um, some prototypes but it's not uh, an accurate representation of what a real uh, physical model of the dome would look like so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of uh, experimenting I've changed it to linear rather than spline or smooth what it was before because now it uh, generates a more I need to edit this slightly but uh, you can see it generates the dome shape, but it doesn't curve these sections like it was doing before. Uh, it leaves them straight, so it's kind of an accurate representation of uh, the dome, what the dome would actually look like and be constructed. And then I can kind of take this back into Rhino and hopefully see uh, the sorts of angles there are. Like I said, I need to change this a bit because it's still, um, you can see we don't want this at the bottom here where it's flat. But yeah, I just thought I'd record it because that's easier than uh, me taking screenshots and trying to explain it. If you've got a video, just change this. So you've got a kind of demonstration, it changes the shape slightly. Just pull this down here, for example, to show you how it works. So it kind of, uses that you can edit this so i'm trying to create the curve that i want to see in my actual dome and like i kind of identified there's four different there's one two three four and then these extra bits but there's four main connection points these t these t uh structure bits here which are like um where it branches out into a smaller bit so identifying some of my kind of sketches that uh this would be because they're straight sections i would have to curve the dome around this uh this shape this area <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying that now. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I'm experimenting with that. I'm trying to line it up perfectly with these, with these actual connection points here. And then I should be able to use this model, uh, put some sort of mesh in between. I might need to export it again actually with surfaces in between these areas so that uh, the film, the cellulose film is like, in my model as well yeah